Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith. I'm glad to be with you. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Hello, everybody. Which one is mine? This one. All right. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. No, and it's um, took a little break, didn't we, because of Elf Louise and then the football games and so yep. forth. But it's glad to, we're we're really glad to be back with you, and we are taking your calls live at seven three seven. 1200 that's the first thing we want to say is mm -hmm. give us a call at 737-1200 for any questions you have Morgan and Keith will be glad to talk to you about it and it's a beautiful day it's getting a little colder and we want to we want to definitely be able to answer your questions and um, maybe get your project started next year it's a great time to remodel mm -hmm. and we're also live on Facebook um, not Instagram because I forgot one of the stands, <laughs> but we're live on Facebook and we can take your questions there. So you can give us a, a shout out there too, as well. You're able to get those right now, right? Yep. I just pulled it up. And so, yeah. And if you don't have a Facebook account, then now's a great time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have one. Don't yes, use do. it often, but we do as a company. So we're there for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's start off with our remodeling safe tip of the week. So I wanted to talk about doing, when you choose a remodeler, the first thing is you want to make sure that they carry insurance, which most of them will, I'd say, as long as you have a reliable remodeler. But the thing that they may not do and that you really need is for them to also have subcontractors that carry insurance too. So, you know, we don't use many subcontractors, but we use plumbing subcontractors, our cleaning company, is technically a subcontractor, the air conditioning and heating companies, and all of those need to carry their own insurances for your protection. So that's something that you can um, make sure to ask before hiring a remodeler. And and I will I'd add to it that that makes the level of service that um, you're getting mm -hmm. a lot higher. And not They're all, reputable. Yeah, a lot of subcontractors do not want to carry insurance. Oh, yeah. And they work for a lot of our competition because they don't require them to have insurance. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, is you're going to have people that are bringing more risk to your to your project. Just the sheer fact that they don't want to be insured tells you something about how long they've been in business, how much business they do, or how much liability they carry and don't want to conform to certain standards. There's a mm -hmm. lot of requirements that insurance companies require, and that is actually a protection for you. I would compare that to getting permits or not getting permits. Mm -hmm. If a contractor doesn't want to get permits, then why? Exactly. And, and then you're not as protected as you would be. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one, Morgan. I wouldn't have thought of that. I know you, you brought that one up. And, uh, <laughs> not only does your contractor, but also your subcontractor have to carry insurance. Thank you for that. So we're going to talk about the subject of why remodel your kitchen and bath all together. Or at even, one time. Or even, um, you know, adding other projects together at the same time. Mm -hmm. Again, your 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 call to us right now is 737-1200. If you would like to call and ask any questions, we can take those calls because the guys in the back are doing a great job. And we'll, we'll to get those calls right, right out. But uh, so the first thing that, that comes to mind under why remodel your kitchen and bath together is it's a savings and there's several ways that it saves you uh, we can start off with the with the stress savings and the time <laughs> savings yeah, and the money and the money savings yeah and and of course that increases a couple of things for you it increases your the value and it increases your satisfaction mm -hmm. uh, and so a lot of times people are thinking about I'd like to do this in phases and we certainly do that we certainly will do, you know, your kitchen, your bath separately. And, and that's a very, very common thing. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what works best for you. But I've got to tell you that a lot of people are surprised when we talk about the advantages. They didn't, they didn't realize all the advantages of doing it at once. Mm -hmm. So when you say stress savings, what, how is it a stress saver? Well, it really goes hand in hand with with uh, timing with the time mm -hmm. so let's start off with designs mm -hmm. um, 
your, your timing on designs will be a lot less than if you did them two separate projects. You can design both at the same time. So, so it would be double the time. Yeah, it much. takes it takes, you know, 20 minutes longer to discuss your bathroom along with your kitchen mm -hmm. in that same meeting. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is that as you get into to time, um, you're also talking about money because it, it doesn't cost the, the cost for designs or the cost for doing stretching anything out in a time frame adds more cost to it. You know, people people who have to have more meetings get paid again to have those meetings. So somewhere along the line, it's going to affect your bottom line price. Mm -hmm. But but the emphasis right there should be on stress because a lot of the reasons that people hold off on doing two projects at once is they feel it would be too stressful. Mm -hmm. And in actuality, they may find out that that is just the opposite is true. And that is that, wow, we got so much more done. And now, of course, with some companies, when you when you do one project, you'll never do the other <laughs> because it was so stressful. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's the sad part. Um, and in that case, I guess it was good that you didn't do both. But but it but it doesn't have to be that way. What we find is, is that folks would really appreciate that now they can enjoy more areas of their home. It all got done at about the same time. Mm -hmm. So. There's a lot of logistics in remodeling. And one of the things that, that, that hurts a client is, is they're being put out of a space. Mm -hmm. And if, if it doesn't matter whether it's a small space or a large space, it's inconvenient for you. So do you want to stretch that inconvenience out over another two months for the next project? You know, a bathroom, master bath is going to take six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And a hall bath is going to take two to four weeks, depending on the complexity of it. And a kitchen is gonna take eight weeks plus, typically. And, and so do you want to be out of, out of um, an area again, another area this time, or would you rather be out of two areas, give that contractor that portion of the home and then have it back in essentially the same time? Mm -hmm. so, so does that bring up any questions to you or to anyone else out there? Not yet, but I was just, I think too when you, the stress of going through a remodeling project in general, not just being out of a space, but you know, the the dust, the all of the little things that it is hard, you know, it's not the, it's not a cakewalk unless you're gonna move out. It's, you are gonna deal with some of these things. Um, you have a dump trailer and you're parking, you know, just, there's just a lot of little things, but if you do them all at one time, you don't have to experience it double. And so, and then the reward is twice as nice. So oh, yeah. it's mean, just, it makes a huge difference. We're getting so many compliments during the hardest parts of the, of the job, mm -hmm. during the dustiest part of it. So, you know, we, we know that we do a good job and that you're gonna be delighted that we, we took such care. Um, when something is hard and you see people caring real hard to trying real hard to not make it uncomfortable for you, you appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that it's not inconvenient. No. That doesn't mean that you'd rather you'd rather go through that than not have to go through <laughs> it. And so, so we want to eliminate that. And you, as a client, then need to think about: Do I want to reduce this time frame because it will be an inconvenience at the least? Mm -hmm. One of the things we do that helps tremendously with our projects is use the maids. At the end of the project, the maids will clean your house for KM Builders. Now, there are some exceptions where people have elected, I'd like to save some money and do it myself, what <laughs> would that save me? But in most of the times, and by the way, we recommend not taking that option because they do such a good job, it is well worth it. Construction clean is different than your normal clean. Oh, yeah. And the maids are the official cleaning company of KM Builders. And if you'd like to get them into your project right now, uh, of course, we'll do it for you for free on the time when we are in there. But you can get $25 off your first clean right now by calling 210-822-2526. You have to tell them that KM Builder sent you to get that $25 off your first clean. That's right. Go to, go to www.maids.com forward slash 211 or call them at 210-822-2526. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.
Is it? It was. That's just because I have to hear it when it's down I know. like this. Well, when I had my... Uh... You still had it on your ears? Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. The underside. Feel warmer now? Oh, yeah. That's a cool jacket. I bought it at San uh, Costco. Oh, yeah. I bought two different colors. It's so warm. Uh huh. I just liked them so much. They're only like twenty bucks. <laughs> I thought that's the perfect intermediate. Hoodie. Yeah, perfect hoodie. And I got I got a green one too. Oh, okay, I've only seen you in the blue one. <sighs> it's I need warm. to get that green one. Huh? I need to get that green one out. Yeah. And put it more forward in our. In your rotation. In our, in our very uh, dense closet. <laughs> Oh, your uh, coat closet? Yeah, it goes so far back. It was funny, I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, could they get, if they take out that coat closet, they could have a bigger laundry room when they remodel. They don't really need that coat closet. No, we're gonna take out the other closet behind the, behind there in uh, mom's room and make the laundry bigger. I forgot bigger. about that Because she doesn't need it, she's got double room. Yeah. I mean, she's, she says she needs it, but. But I, that's I know the better one to use. Yeah, it'll be across from it. And then you should make that coat closet double doors. Well, I was thinking about that. If I take out both of those angles, because remember there's angles that go in. Mm -hmm. It's a little recess on both doors. Yeah. And if I cut the angles off and get rid of them. And put them to where? And it'll make it, it'll make it go like this. When you walk in, it'll go like this, and it'll just go straight. Instead of going yeah. like this to the coat closet in our bedroom door and then coming back in, we'll just take it and go straight through. And then I can put a wider door on that coat closet. I can put yeah. a double door or something. Yeah. Sliding barn doors. Yeah. That's it doesn't go into your bedroom, though. The offset goes into the bedroom. I guess we're talking about a different coat closet. You're talking the hall about... coat closet, right? Yeah. When you walk in the front door, uh -huh. there's a window and a door, and then and the walls are right here. Uh -huh. And then it goes like this, and then there's doors, oh, and then it goes like this and comes back out. Yeah. So take out this second angle, not the first oh. angle. Yeah, now I know take what you're talking about. Take out the second angle. Uh huh. That's, yeah. And just make that straight across. Uh huh. True. So I don't need the extra depth in the closet. Yeah. It's a little wider right there, but you can't get around to it no, anyway. No, you can't get to it. And then, and then on the other side, I can lose that in the bedroom. And what need, would be neat is it feel bigger when you yeah, walk in. Yeah, exactly. It's a better look. Mm -hmm. I have to replace that header, I think. Mm. Is this us? No. Mm. <laughs> so what's the next point? Uh, elite lighting. Are we starting that? With that one? Yeah. We're starting with that. Yeah. And then they want us to mention about doing the, not only do they do the outdoor lighting, but right now they do their holiday lighting. Mm -hmm. There's still time. <laughs> and then I have a client testimonial. What's his name? Sean. Yeah. And you can say if you want an example of what it looks like. They did the Valero. They do the Valero corporate office. It's right off of 1604. When you drive by, they've got all the trees lit up. You say that. Okay. After I talk about holiday lighting. Yeah. They sure are pretty. Welcome to the k and Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We're glad to be here, and we're taking your calls live at 737-1200. We hope you're enjoying your day, and we'd love to talk to you. 737-1200. You can give us a call, and we'll take your call live. and Or you can, don't want to do it live, you can just do it on Facebook. Yep, we're monitoring the comments there, too. <laughs> at KM Builders. Mm -hmm. And Morgan will take a look. We want to mention something that's um, really close to my home. That's because Elite Lighting and Designs did the accent lighting on my home. 
Oh and yeah, your trees look beautiful. Oh yeah, it just beautifully accents the home and the trees. I'm very proud of my trees, as you've probably heard me before. <laughs> But I'm even more proud of them because they look beautiful at night now, not just during the day. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool to see beautiful trees lit up and the accent lighting on the home. It's also made it safer. And so if you'd like a safer, better lit home or beautiful home, if you like your home to look beautiful at night and like the day, call them at 210-573-0594. I tell you, Sean, the owner of there is very, very Attention to detail, 210-573-0594. And right now, they do holiday lighting. There's still time to get that done if oh, you'd yeah. like that. If you want to see an example, they do the Valero corporate office on 1604. Right when you're driving by, you can see all the trees lit up there. It is beautiful. It really is. So look them up at EliteLightingDesigns.com. So you wanted to do a client testimonial? Yes, our second segment, a client testimonial. We got this one um, just a little bit under a month ago and it's on Angie's list and it's from our Mr. Shannon. And he says, it is beautiful and went just as we planned. Mac, who's our um, design consultant, he said, Mac was absolutely the best. He was always there to answer questions, help with the selections that went into making this beautiful renovation and was a very good friend throughout the whole process. I can't say enough good things about Mac. Because of him, we were completely satisfied with the finished product and very happy with our home. Yeah, we love it when people talk specifically about individuals and it happens all the time in our company. And so I gotta tell you, Mr. Shannon, I know <laughs> you're happy to have Mac work for you, but so are we. <laughs> good job, Mac. Don't try and take him from yeah, us. <laughs> no, you can't have him, you can't keep him. Yeah. <laughs> we tell that to everybody. You can't keep these people, yeah. you can only use them. <laughs> and so we are glad that we have so many happy clients. And you know, we are also very, very thankful that during the COVID, we have been very, very busy. Mm -hmm. We are very grateful to be in this business, this industry. And we're thankful that folks have seen our protocols, our safe protocols, and have felt very comfortable mm -hmm. having us in their home because we create that barrier between them and us. And they know that we're doing, we have a whole protocol of sanitation every day. And we have not let up on that at all. In fact, um, we've increased it and got more vigilant, mm -hmm. even at our offices. So when people come in, the their room that they're meeting in is completely sanitized and they're meeting alone with one person usually from our company or two at the most mm -hmm. and no one else is going in or out of that area if you want a showroom visit we'll sanitize that and have it exclusively set up for you mm -hmm. and uh, and then of course we're protecting all of our trusted team members our, our love team members we're taking good mm -hmm. care of each other and we haven't been hit hard by this, fortunately, because probably because of good good practices. Oh, absolutely. I've heard of offices being wiped out by COVID and we thankfully have not had that. So we are really happy and proud of that, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's uh, vigilance, just like the vigilance you have to have to make a project go well. Mm -hmm. And it produces really good results when you stay on top of things. And I believe that, you know, that's what we did anyway in just by nature we stay on top of the details and so let's talk a little bit more about remodeling and combination projects such as kitchen and baths a lot of folks uh, appreciate what we said about it being less stressful well that's what mr shannon did he mm -hmm. did his kitchen and bath all together and they will tell you how much they loved just being able to basically from come home one day and it's all finished your whole house is updated and they just love that. The flooring was, they were able to continue the flooring throughout the whole house, which is another benefit when you're doing a full, um, like two combo projects, you can mm -hmm. add these little projects in. So they painted the whole inside and they did the new, flooring through new, it. Uh, upgraded their trims, their base mm -hmm. trims and their moldings. And, and that all, when you do all those combinations together, it saved them money because of project management fees. So well, they that's had, what we're talking yeah. about here. Timing is the other big thing, and it's very closely related to stress. Mm 
Yes. I mean, there's a lot of ways to create stress in a remodeling project or by not doing a good job. But one of the things that is inevitably part of stress is how long does it take? Mm -hmm. It's not the only thing that causes stress, but it certainly is a factor. And it can be a huge factor if it's not run professionally and it's not all orchestrated. Because as you've probably heard, like I hear every week, that the projects that people did before, um, they drug on. Yeah. And the reason they drug on, not because it was so hard or not because each task took so much work, it was because there was no work being performed at times. And not just once or twice, but multiple times during the project. Now that just doesn't happen with us because we have the dedicated workforces. But let's talk a little bit more about how we can even do better. Let's just say that you do the very best you can on a project and you reduce the time all you can because of good orchestration, having the crews available and doing good work, doing it once, not having to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. You've reduced stress there. Mm -hmm. But how can we reduce stress more? Well, like we said, combining a kitchen with a bathroom is going to definitely cut out probably in the neighborhood of four weeks or more off of what it would have taken you if you did it separately. In some cases, doing two bathrooms, a kitchen, that's gonna take off eight weeks. And that's a long time. That's two months worth of stress being removed. But why? Because you still are doing the same amount of work. You are. <laughs> but let's talk about why. That's a great question, Morgan. So why would it take off so much time? Well, one of the reasons is, is that you have to set up with the the restroom, you have to set up with the, the demolition, the dust walls, and the time it takes, let's say when they finish taking all of your cabinets out of one bathroom, that may not even be all day. They take your tile and your and your bathroom cabinets out and your, uh, your flooring, and those guys are there six hours, four hours, five hours sometimes. Well, they can go right into the next bathroom and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. If it took them a day and a half to do the kitchen demolition, well, now they've got another half a day. They're already there, and they can do the next one. Mm -hmm. The same is true on the other trades, such as uh, if you're taping and floating texture, or, I mean, or texturing on drywall, sheetrock. Well, it doesn't dry fast enough for you to do it right then. You might have to leave. If it's a small area, it's not going to dry quick enough. They can't keep busy, so they're leaving. Mm -hmm. So if they were to go to the next room, they could continue to put a coat on that one, and then come back to the kitchen, by the time they've done a couple of hours worth of work, if you used a hot mud, they can actually go ahead and put another coat on it. And guess what? When they're done with that one, they can go right back to the other room again and finish it there. So two trips, two separate trips at least, are being saved just on that one trade. Because if they had done it separately, it would have been a day for the kitchen. Or but two days. even though it only took three quarters of a day. So then they come well, back. Well, and that might be two days, three quarters of a day. Mm -hmm. So that means you've already lost a half a day. Exactly. And in some cases, three days to put three coats. Now you're three days instead of a day and a half for both bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Now you got to add in, it's probably two or three days of waiting and drying on the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So if it's two days on the bathroom or three days on the bathroom and three days on the kitchen to for the drying time, that's a total of six days that could have been done in a usually two and a half days, mm -hmm. or even sometimes two. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a, that's literally taking off three to four days off the, the length of a project. Yep. And, and that's just and for guess the what? one trade. What's that? And that's just for one trade. That's for one trade. And it's the same is true of setting cabinets, setting trims, painting. You know what you should never do when you paint a one coat of paint? Start the other coat before it's dry. <laughs> So that is a big mistake. And, and of course, what are we, we're not going to do it wrong. We're going to leave. Yep. And we're going to come back tomorrow and do another coat. But if you can go to the next room, then tomorrow when you come back, you can do both coats in both rooms again. Instead of two days and two days, it's mm -hmm. now two. Yep. So instead of four, it's to reduce to two. Um, there's, there's a lot of things you're just not going to be able to speed up, but you can do more work, and that, in effect, speeds it up. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of speeding up, uh, Frank's paint and body shop, Frank <laughs> Menchaca, he doesn't speed up on his work. He does it right. Yeah. I know because we had a deer hit our Lexus RX350, and Frank does the work for places like Lexus. So we went directly to Frank, 
And I mean, you cannot find it on that no, car. No, it looks perfect. And we did not want to depreciate the value of that car. It was, it's been, it's real new. Mm -hmm. And so look up Frank Menchaca, Frank's Paint Knot and Body Shop, and call him at 210-927-3410. You can always call us at Game Builders. I'll be glad to give you Frank's number. If you have a little chips, he's about to work on my Hellcat also, the little road trips, road chips. And then I'm going to get it protected. But it's 210-927-3410. Frank's Paint and Body Shop. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show after the news break. Yeah, I went long. Huh? I went long. Yeah. <laughs> I figured you would... You wanted him instead of these. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So for sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are they still? Well, we don't have. Katie does not do one. Who's the other one? But call? we were supposed to do a show with them, and we never have been able to well, we'll because of. Uh, so I figured it was, I took off these two, because they said no, mm -hmm. and they never did. Where's my uncle? He's still on there. I just won't do one again, it'll be even better. Okay. Well, we put, we move uh, expel to the, yeah, we just won't do one in the last section. I'm working on trying to get, get an agreement. Do you, did you have anybody? I'm just, I can't remember. <laughs> so it's supposed to rain tomorrow, huh? Uh -huh. G-O-E-T-L. Ghetto. 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 Like Mele. G-O-E. Oh. Ghetto. See, they don't call it Gordo. Gordo. <laughs> Gordo. 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 That would sound like you're calling a goat. I'm surprised we don't have callers because it's like people are out and about today like crazy. Right. Or maybe they're listening. Just listening. Yeah, or they have their Christmas music and station on. And you did get on. three callers. Well, that'd be three out of all of them that are listening. That's still only three. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. You have to have that perspective. It's true.
I said on airplane, it dropped. Is there anything that's going on? That'd be cool to have a plane that can land on the water, huh? Mm-hmm. What's even really more amazing is that it can actually pick up speed enough to, to take off in the water. Do you think that, like, bread from his fire, that he could, if he has one of those planes, he could land in that lake? Who from his fire? Fred. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Fred. That guy didn't do too well. Oh, I, I guess he could. They allow it? No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Sing it, Sam. <laughs> Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're glad to have you back and be back with you this Saturday. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. And we are taking your calls live at 737-1200. If you'd like to ask anything about remodeling or processes, we are all about remodeling processes. And I think that's probably what we are known the most for, was having created a remodeling experience and so we, we uh, only associate ourselves with vendors who have a great product and experience so when I find someone really really good at what they do I turn them on to you and I usually do business with them first make sure that we we really agree with with that but a lot of times it was completely a personal thing that I did with them because I wanted to that I wanted to find someone and usually I vet them out really hard, find out who recommends <laughs> them in the industry. And one of those is Expel. Um, I mean, just incredible paint protective film. They're considered the best in the industry and that's what I wanted for my Hellcat and my 2019 Ford F-350 King Ranch. And they have just done a beautiful job with it. People can't believe that it's, that it's actually protected. Mm -hmm. And also we've had it's them so looking perfect. at the home that I'm going to be selling in Hunter's, Hunter's Creek. And that window tent is an incredible product. And they also have it so that you can put it in a closet and protect your, your uh, clothing from UV rays or your furniture. Oh, yeah, because leather furniture fades in the sun. And so do wood floors, by the way. Oh, true. If you keep it in the same place and you move that rug, you're going to see there's an outline there. So you want good window protective films for a couple of reasons. One is that UV. Another is saving you energy. And another one is actually safety so that people can't break into your windows, uh, especially if you have big doors, they can just break through the doors, walk right in, Yep. or but lift the latches. Keeps it from them being able to enter. It, it's crazy because the glass will still be able to be broken, but they cannot break the They can't push film. it through. It's and a, so attached. they can't get through. Mm -hmm. So call them at 210-430-7712, that's 430. 7712 or go to expel.com and find your lo local ones talk to eric there about that product for the home mm -hmm. and so we are live on instagram and facebook well not instagram today because we forgot a stand that yeah. would make it work right but <laughs> yep. we are on facebook uh -huh. so we have a questions. comment okay it's from christina diaz and she says or diaz i don't know diaz um she says listening and learning packing up my kitchen and getting ready for y'all to start my kitchen on tuesday that's right <laughs> and she's been patient and we promised her we will start on tuesday and so the great thing is is they wait for a little bit after everything's been selected we get and, it all ordered. And I asked her, I said, can we start on Thursday? She goes, no, I need more. I need more notice. So, <laughs> and she was right. We should have told her sooner. But we had uh, one guy out on surgery and another one left our employee. And so we, we forgot to call her last Wednesday to say that maybe Thursday would work. But it actually turned out better for us because we're even more ready to start on Tuesday. So we <laughs> thank you, Christina and John, for your, for your uh, patience. patience. And we will stay on it. We are excited to start on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. They're great folks, <laughs> and we look forward to, to getting great reviews because of the happy the happy process mm -hmm. that we'll have. So, yeah, like I was saying, it's about processes, and these processes win happy clients. They win awards, too. Yep. 
because that's for our what's trending we went to um we had the cassava awards i think last week or two weeks ago i don't remember and so we just wanted to officially announce that we won best website best radio commercial which was cool because WAI <laughs> and also best remodeled project under 75,000 this is our stunner room edition project that you can see on our website under awards and you can check it out and it is just the most beautiful project that was like 65,000 but increased their home value to what a hundred 114,000 yeah. increased Six, it by 67,000 and it went to 114. So and that was if they were to turn around and sell it the next day. They had it appraised right before and right afterward. So yep. look it up under what? Under and awards. Under awards. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We've got it all updated. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's, I know some people try to stick in projects to win awards that were actually a lot more expensive. Yeah. Because they, the they don't go back and check. Yeah. But this they don't one, this one truly was under 75,000 and it doesn't look it. Oh, no. It, it looks like it should be a hundred and something thousand, yeah, really. Absolutely. It was beautiful. And that's when, actually one of our smaller projects mm -hmm. for, if you look at, you know, how many projects we do uh, pictures on, that's a little below our average and definitely way below some of the, the projects we do each year, but they are stunning nevertheless. And it doesn't matter what cost is of the project, you're going to get the same service, uh, the same process that we have. Sometimes your process it's just going to be a little quicker because it's not as big a project. Mm -hmm. But it is the same steps with everybody. Yep. And so we're proud of that. And our guys do such a great job. Yeah. I mean, it, and you know, you, you mentioned something today. You circulated something to the to uh, the coaching company that we're with. Oh, yeah. And tell, just tell us a little bit of what, what, you, what you saw. Well, so we send a questionnaire to our clients before we meet them, before you go out and meet them. And they said that they were referred to us by two other well-known remodelers in San Antonio. Well, one was a landscape company. Oh, is that who that uh -huh. was? I it's, thought it was. And they do and they do home improvements, small small outdoor home improvements. Oh, okay. I get must have misread the letters mm -hmm. then because I thought it was someone else. Um, but the other remodeling company is very well known, and they said they couldn't do it. It was right. too hard of a project. It's for too them. complex. Mm -hmm. And so we're glad that we can do the complex ones or the easier ones. But nothing in this business is easy if you uh, if you don't have a process, yeah. And it can just ruin the experience for a client, mm -hmm. and that's just not going to happen. We do want to uh, take a little break here. We want to go ahead and talk about our sponsor that I've been working with for over a year now, almost two years, and that is BioGreen. BioGreen is continuing to fertilize and treat my yard for whether you get a little brown patch or whether you've got those worried about those weeds. The pre-emergence are incredible. I've got to say over the last year and a half that, you know, I've never seen so so few weeds. Occasionally <laughs> I'll see a weed and I pull it out and just throw that one away because I know that, that I don't have a whole bunch of them coming up afterward. So your yard looks perfect yeah. right now. And it didn't before. No, it was sad. It was sad. <laughs> and so if you want to go from sad to happy with your lawn, call BioGreen at 421-9522 or go to BioGreenSA.com. That's that's BioGreenSA.com or the number again is 421-9522. And we'll finish up our last segment on why you should do multiple projects if you can. To, and, and we've got the, the biggest reason coming up after we, we get back with the break at KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Diamonds Directs just decided to squeeze in one more incredible... My favorite commercial. Ha ha. I wonder if anybody died in that. They keep showing one guy leaning on it like he's dead. Him? No, I don't think it was him. Maybe he's stuck. Showing the bugs. Dumb. Ooh, it's been there a long time. Hmm? It's been there a long time. Mm -hmm. 
because the tires are all rotted off of it. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. They're gonna get it out of there with a helicopter. He's got a hacksaw to cut it up into pieces. I think I'd have a cordless sawzall. get me some new uh, waiters that they had water squirt out of them. I guess this is where they broke down. Hmm. Hmm, they landed in the water. You weren't interested in recording today, were you? No. We're doing the, assem the assembly, so we're going to go back and finish. Okay. Finish. It's a good one. Nice, y'all took a little break. <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess so. Yeah, I would like to finish even the morning session, but we had so much problem loading it. Oh, you didn't even finish the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, our brothers told us to download it first, so I had downloaded it a couple days before, oh. and then I just airplayed it, downloaded it, had it download to the computer because we had so much problem streaming the convention. I was like, I'm not going to stream it this way again. It's a big file, though, isn't it? Yeah, but I just had it all downloading while I was working. So eventually, it, you know, after a couple minutes, I think this is us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some interesting music. Yeah. Welcome to the... KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. And we are taking your calls live at 737-1200. If you want to ask anything about it or about processes or about your project, even technical things, we certainly don't mind answering those because we've done it a long time. And it's uh, we like the challenge. So 737-1200 will get your questions answered. If not, we're going to keep talking about <laughs> the, the process of multiple project remodeling. It wow. really is a time saver, as we said. Mm -hmm. It is a stress saver, mm -hmm. and it is a money saver. And for a lot of people, that will be the thing that will push them over the edge. Yes. It's not that money is their ultimate goal in their projects, but a lot of people think that if I do it a little bit later, I can you know, pay for it out of pocket, is one of the things that we see. And another one is, is that we see them thinking that it's going to be the same cost if they separate it later. I just, I'm just going to pay it later. And most people, you know, that's a plus to them. They say, well, I could pay it all now or I could pay some now and some later. Mm -hmm. And that sounds very logical because I don't want to do this room. I want to do this room only and I'll do that one later. But that's not really all the facts. As we were saying earlier, since we combine projects, we save time. Mm -hmm. And when we save time, it costs us less to do it. And when it costs us less to do it, we charge you less. Mm -hmm. So instead of a person being there half a day and having to leave for drying time and not knowing whether he's gonna be there three quarters of a day or half a day, or if he'll even get back to that project in the same day, 
or another project in the same day, we have to calculate a little bit more of a cushion on that. Mm -hmm. That labor is not going to be as efficient. And so typically what we see is three to $5,000 savings on every time you combine another room. So if you're doing one bathroom and you want to do the other bathroom, maybe you have three, hopefully you have three if you do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you had three bathrooms and you wanted to do two at the same time, you'll save three to $5,000 by doing that. And it's not just because people are more efficient and can run from, from different places in the house and keep it working, but that is a big factor when you multiply that by all of the 20 or 30 different trades that will be in there. And so that's a huge savings. Everybody wants to get their job done and will give you a little better price, you know, if they were, if you hired a plumber, for example. Oh yeah, if you do, if I do two of these sinks or three of these sinks or four of these sinks, it's going to be a little better price. Oh yeah, because they're already set up. Well, the same is true for us. We're going to give you a better price to do those if all of these little trades, each one of these, is saving us time and energy, and we order everything at the same time, we store it at the same time, we get there at the same time. But there's another factor too, and part of that is the project manager can run multiple projects at the same time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take him any, we, longer. any longer. We don't charge more for him to go and look in the bathroom <laughs> and see how that work is going yeah. in addition to the kitchen, which he was already doing. So you're going to get the time savings of a man who is one of the higher ups in our company. Mm -hmm. And that is necessary because he has to have so much experience and so much customer skills and so much organizational skills that he is he is in management of our company. Oh yeah. So that saves you a lot of money in not paying a manager on a project. And in, then he has redundancy too. He has a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And we have a quality control manager. So these three individuals are going to be able to shorten their time by having two jobs run at the same time. You will pay much less for that. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, our dumpster will only be there, which is our own. We own our own but it's going to combine trash loads. It's mm -hmm. gonna combine the hauling uh, deliveries and the removal of those. Also our restroom, our portable restroom, we get charged by the month. And they don't charge us by whether, you know, more because we're doing two projects <laughs> at the same time. No. And those are fees, those are real fees, and those are real we're savings permits. that are realized. There you go again. Um, they don't charge per project at the city of San Antonio or other cities. Mm -hmm. They charge by kind of the overall size of a project, and if it's under a certain limit, you're gonna get it for a set fee. And the fees have gone down, by the way, well, at the good. city of San Antonio over the years, and so we're happy about that. But this is another area where now, if you get under this threshold, you get it for the same price, even if you add a project or two. Mm -hmm. So it's even more true now than it used to be that that is an area of savings. The same is true of saving on you know inspections they're going to inspect both projects at the same time if you have an engineer he will engineer and do all of the project he'll stamp those plans for the whole thing at the same time so that means they could save 10 to fifteen thousand dollars if they do two baths and a kitchen together that means you could either pocket that and save that money or you could have an even better remodel for the price that you had already budgeted for. That is exactly right, Morgan. That's good two ways to look at it. Save money or get a, or get be able to get more of what you want. Yeah, those upgrades, the you could have really a dream remodel with ten to fifteen thousand dollars in upgrades. That's, That's right. Nice. And and you know, we can't make the price of things change. No. All we can do is show you ways that we can be efficient. And then it's up to you to see if that's what you want. And while we're on the subject, you know, the interest that you would pay on borrowing to get those other two projects would be way less oh, yeah. than, than the savings that come from doing them at the same time. And like we said, there's two other factors there. Reduce your stress, reduce the time. If you reduce the time and the stress and the money that you're going to pay, it sounds like a pretty good deal. But let's not forget one other thing. You increase your pleasure. Yep. And that's really where, where the advantage comes in doing multiple projects. Because not only do you get it sooner than all of these projects spread out over the next year or two, or even more, but you start enjoying all of these features at the same, at the time. same time. And I'm telling you, it's like a kid in a candy store when you, when you run around and see your new home. Oh, yeah. 
and that's where we just got a compliment for from the, the for some of the folks that were doing at Shavano Park and she was already we just opened up one area and she was already saying thanks I had you know had some visitors and so forth oh awesome yeah well we just we want to say thank you to all of you who have made 2020 successful for us we hope we can make your home and your life more successful by making it more convenient easier to use and much more pleasant and mm -hmm. bring you joy and we hope that we can bring you joy in this the rest of this year and next year but give us a call at 680-5626 that is 680-KMCO or look us up at kmbuilders.com and you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Facebook and Instagram. Yep. And sign up for our newsletter at friends at kmbuilders.com to right. see so, weekly updates. Thank you, Morgan. And kmbuilders.com, remember, we have designed the experience. So then you, you can, can experience the design. <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody.